Hello everyone, it is Tuesday again as you all know, and I am Justin Nidinger. Tonight I am here with two wonderful gentlemen who will be playing D&D with me because we are adults. So, as always, I will be kicking off all the players of DM Saving Throw in alphabetical order, all two of them tonight. We're going to start with <laughs> Casey. Alrighty, so Justin didn't, Justin didn't explain what we're doing, but tonight we're running a historical one-shot. So, I will be playing uh, a guy named Thordak Meatstabber. Um, <laughs> he is a Goliath Barbarian with rogue influences. Uh, gonna be a unique character for sure. Um, yeah, we'll see what happens. All right, and I'm playing Cracktum Call, uh, a cleric. Um, and I'm excited. I learned in creating this character how powerful clerics are at level 15. So, uh, <laughs> let's get it. I'm excited, Justin. All right, I'm still making notes because I needed to uh so as always we are playing D, D 5e with a few homebrew rules thrown into the mix we're using D, D beyond but that don't mean shit tonight because we got new players um next week it'll mean something then you can scroll over the left and see the player stats uh lastly in the middle is the sweet sweet tailspire not quite to hero forge yet but hopefully we're that much closer since the last time you saw us um as uh, Casey was so nice to say, we are doing a historical one-shot, or if I didn't do well, two-shot that'll happen in the future. Uh, but um, we are going to go back into the past, which ties me into the only thing you need to know about last week's episode, and that is Byron had a flashback, and uh, we learned a little bit about his past, and we are now going to build on that. Do you guys have any questions before we get things kicked off? No, I'm, I'm ready to stab something. <laughs> okay. Where are we at in the one shot? So we talked a little bit about the backstory. So are we picking up right in the middle of the action or do we have to do some stuff first? Uh, so here is what has happened. The two of you, uh, you were wherever the hell you were at. I'm going to guess that you were in Break, which is a continent to the north. And and just so people can know, I'm going to go into our Discord. Uh, da, 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 and I'm going to put into Tavern Chat a image of the world. So that everybody can reference what's going on. And if you don't have our Discord, you can see all the stuff below wherever you're watching this or listening to this, whether this is live or in the future on YouTube, or you're listening to it at the gym. Um, you can you can check out all of all the links to the Discord. Um, oh, oh, I forgot. Uh, last week, we gave inspiration to Misprint. So Misprint, if you were here, you have the ever glorious um, inspiration which means that you can give me advantage or disadvantage, or you can give the players advantage whenever you want. Okay, so back to what we were talking about. You guys were in break, which is the continent up to the north. Um, you were there and you received a letter from someone in your past, and that re letter reads, Brothers, it appears I'm in need of your help. Those bastard worshippers of Nez Nezrakal, who live north of Shale Beach, are getting bolder by the day. We're starting to see villagers go missing, in the, and the alliance with the local Shiver of Sahagin... Is that how you pronounce that? The shark people? All right. Um, that's what we're calling now. Sahagin is troubling me to no end. I know I should have killed them after Beth passed, but I couldn't prove that they were the ones that took my precious Beth's magic, cutting her life short. Sherem is already here, and by adding both of you your help, we should be able to wipe these bastards from the face of the planet just like we did with that clutch of trolls up north. I look forward to seeing both of you again. Your brother in arms, Bryce Bancroft. Wow, that made it really big. I tried to draw on the map where it is, but it's like huge now, so. <laughs> what, that red dot? Yeah, the, the red blotch that takes up half the continent. Yeah, that thing. <laughs> Womp womp. 
Well, so that's Don for Sold. Well, Shale Beach and is below it, but... Nope, Shale Beach is to the left. Keep oh, left him. He got moved then. Okay. Oh my god. I moved, I moved your thing. It's the lore! Uh, yeah, <laughs> no kidding. I, I'm... I, my whole world is, is new now and different, yep. so... So if you move the map to the left, um, over to the other coast, there is... Um, that right there is Shale Beach. Yep. All right, cool. Well... So... Good to know. I moved your town, apparently. Yeah, no shit. All right. <laughs> All right. So uh, you guys, uh, lickety split, I guess you jumped on a boat and uh, or an airship or something, and you went to Shale Beach. Uh, you guys randomly show up at the beach. This is a uh, – it's not what you think of, um, at least in most places in America, of a beach town. Uh, this is – more of a a working town it's um it's a little depressed it's very dreary uh the architecture is almost nordic uh more row houses uh than you would see in say for example donvers hold where it's it's uh it's a little bit more city-esque uh so you guys pull into what they consider a port it's just a few small docks and what do you want to do? Uh, well, I mean, I think uh, if we know where his home is, I think that's where we would start heading is towards wherever they are. Uh, as as we're approaching on the boat, do we see anything from the boat as we're going to the shore? Do we see any signs of battle or anything on the sure. shores like, around? Give, give me a perception check. Ooh. Oh, and uh, sp spoiler alert, everybody out there listening, all uh, 39,000 of you. Um, they're level 15, so they're probably going to mop the floor with pretty much anything I throw at them. Uh, 17. <laughs> a 17? As you put down a dragon or beholder in front of us, we're like, oh, great. <laughs> <laughs> um, so uh, when you pull into or you're coming into the uh, the, the docks, uh, it, it looks like a lot of the construction here has been recently um, patched up, or there's some places that still look like they're they're being worked on. Uh, the the city is um, it's a little bit more active than than usual. Um, I would imagine at some point you guys would have been down here to see him. Um, but it doesn't look like the same the same town that you guys were used to. Okay. Okay. Um... You see, uh, Thordak has a rapier on either side of him, and he kind of like holds them like you would daggers. And they're like his massive hands are kind of gripped around, like even the pommel of it. So, mm -hmm. like, he just kind of <laughs> holds them. He's just like, this makes me feel uneasy. Yeah, this place looks like, uh, kind of looks like shit from, uh, last time I, we were here. At least me. Uh, Thordak, you, you get off of the boat and you can actually feel the dock buckling under your gigantic Goliath frame. Um, not so much for you, uh, Croc Uh, but you're, you're not nearly as big as, as your, as your friend. Um, so you guys come into the town, uh, you would, <laughs> you would, you would flex as you get off the boat, just feeling the, feeling <laughs> the freedom of, I, I am big, <laughs> I'm big, I'm as big as this guy, I'm big, <laughs> what the hell? So you guys, uh, head towards, head towards, uh, Bryce's, uh, house, uh, and, uh, as you guys get there, you see that this is one of the few houses that hasn't been completely patched up. Uh, it is, um, it's a, a smaller house. Uh, it has a, um, uh, a big wooden door with a thatch roof. Uh, but you see that the door is off of its hinges. Um, there is a small enclosure in the back where there are a, uh, a couple chickens um, and a goat. Um, I think yeah. Thordak would say, let me take a look. And he would sneak in towards the house to try and peer in one of the windows. Okay. 
Give yell me, uh, if you uh, find anything. <laughs> give me a uh, a stealth roll. Uh, eighteen. I rolled 18. a. I rolled okay. a. I rolled a three. <laughs> oh, that's how tonight's gonna be. Yeah, he he's a uh, he's rogue. <laughs> Wait, I'm sorry. Your stealth. You rolled a three and you got an eighteen. And I mean, you're a barbarian. I'm a barbarian rogue. <sighs> Holy he's a, shit! He's a rogue barian. Plus fifteen. I am. Uh, I am a dex built barbarian. <laughs> <laughs> See, and you were complaining about us playing Elden Ring and talking about it. You, That's you clearly... crazy. That's All right, crazy. so you sneak in there. Um, you are like the wind. You sneak in. Uh, you you can see a place where there's like some loose floorboards, uh, but your recall is super awesome, and you're able to step around them. Um, it it looks very disheveled, uh, and the worrying thing is is that there is uh, blood. Uh, in places that you wouldn't expect to be blood. Um, you do know that he does take care of the dead here in this town. Um, but there's like fingerprints on the on a doorway and you can see just a pool of blood on the floor in the kitchen. Um, but there's nobody in the building. There's a you whole go, pool of blood. It's, it's not like a it's not like, oh, he bled out here. Um, or somebody bled out here. It's just it's like a, it's a puddle of blood. Yeah, yeah. It's it's. I don't know if that makes it any better. But, but there's a there's okay. a four inch circle of blood on yeah. the ground. <laughs> oh, a Thordak turns and goes, "It looks like I just left the room. Come on, let's go check it out." And he'll literally just kind of take the door and just. That's that's how he picks the lock. He just takes the door <laughs> off the hinge and just sets it off to the side. All right, okay. I will come in. So this guy, what is he in, like, the structure of the military? Is he a commander? Or... So just to give you guys a little bit of backstory, the, the, it was you, uh, the two of you, Sherem and Bryce. You were a unit in uh, Breaks First, which was the army, uh, the uh, predominantly elven army from Break. Um, after the army, you guys kind of went your separate ways, uh, but you stayed in touch. Um, Bryce moved to Shale Beach and he essentially became I mean death's a bad way of saying it but he was like he's the person who took care of the bodies he was uh, the person who uh, the equivalent of a uh, mortician here but he was a he was a grave cleric so he, he read their last rites and tended to the bodies to make sure that everyone was buried to their appropriate uh needs we'll say hey okay. uh all right i got something to find out where he is it's gonna take a little bit though okay you sure this house is empty well no i haven't gone in and looked yet so and he'll um, i'll sneak in and kind of look around just to make sure that there's nothing else in there it's it's not a um it's not a, a big house uh as you would walk in to your right is a small um, equivalent of a living room, like a sitting room, uh, where there's a fireplace. Uh, directly ahead is another doorway that leads uh, into where the kitchen area would be. Uh, on the on the left, there are two small bedrooms, uh, and then there is a bigger space uh, through the kitchen uh, where um, he would have uh, taken care of the bodies, make sure that they were cleaned the way that they were supposed to be. Uh, as you go through all of them, there's no one here. No, nah, it's empty. Uh, I move aside. Jesus, that's a lot of blood. My God. All right. <laughs> Lord, uh, that looks easy. Is it? I tend to spill I mean, a lot. For I someone who's supposed to be alive, yeah. Do we know that he's supposed to be alive? I mean, I mean let's be honest. I, I know, but let's be honest. They were... They were the weaker of us four. I mean, we were always batting clean up for them. I agree. I agree. Well, I have a case. Uh, let me cast a spell real quick. Well, it's ritual, so it'll take 10 minutes. Uh, and but... by batting clean up, he means very similar to your Blood Ball League or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> sports reference. Yeah. I... <laughs> In universe sports reference. All right. I am ritual casting divination. 
Okay. Uh, Why don't you tell the kids <laughs> at home what that means? Super jealous. Okay. Uh, so I, uh, you, you, so crack takes out a little heat out of a sack. We'll, I hope we can assume we. I yep. just have the you got it. Bonus. So um, he takes out a little a little helmet that is. Um, obviously uh ceremonial in nature very gilded with some gems embedded into it um and he puts it down and he uh he kneels and he starts doing uh some religious mumbo jumbo um thordak is standing off to the side picking his teeth with a rapier (laughs) jesus christ uh to uh he to helm um his god and so uh you you ask a single question concerning a specific goal event or activity to occur within seven days, uh, the GM offers a truth or reply. Uh, I might have misread that. Concerning <laughs> to to occur, the to occur is the thing that I misread. So you're you're over there casting this spell, and uh, a little old lady leans in and she says, uh, "Are you are you looking for for Bryce and Byron?" Yeah, oh, we are. He's yeah. he's casting. He can't talk for twenty minutes. You know what? Actually, uh, I, I take that back. I stopped casting the spell. It was the wrong spell. Oh, <laughs> so I have to scrap all this. He shoves it into his pack. Uh, you got something for us? Uh, it's, uh, I hate to be the one to tell you, but uh, Bryce is past. He he passed away a few weeks ago, uh. and. Byron is left. I, I just I suspect after losing his mother and now his father, it's this place is too much for him. God, how long did it take us to get that mail? This is very old timey mail, and <laughs> you came by boat. Um, it's been a while. Okay, how did he die? Very horribly. Oh, good. Well, that's why we're here. What well, killed him? Uh, so, uh, there, there's... To the north, there is a, uh... A foul... Church. Uh, it's, a, it's really just a terrible, terrible place. And they have, uh... They've partnered up with these crazy fish people. And, uh... Well, they're fish and shark people. They, they're... They're the bastards. And they came into town and just started killing everybody. Um, but Bryce and his friend... Uh, they were, uh, they are the ones who pushed them back, ultimately giving their own life. Huh. Huh. Well, that was, uh, that was dumb. Shouldn't have died. Yeah. Can't do very much, uh, much more good if you're dead. He well. saved all our lives. Yeah, but did he? But, uh, now we st- got to go save her life. I'm still here. Yeah. yeah well, ha- but... how, tell me how you how do you defend this place? Uh, you c- certainly don't clean, judging by the the fact that there's blood everywhere. So you guys don't take care of people's <laughs> houses after they pass. This isn't my house. You, you don't take care of the debt. Like, I mean, this man, he I watched him dedicate time and time again over the battlefield of collecting bodies for people to bring him back for their families to bury him. And you can't even like clean up his blood after it spilled all over his house jeez she takes a step back she looks very ashamed yeah <sighs> pick up a weapon while you're out there do some good well now hold on uh so you said the church is to the north uh yes and uh she points to the north and okay. says that way does the pool of blood line up the age of the pool of blood line up with the timeline that the old lady said because that'd be uh, pretty dry yeah i said pool but i guess i should have said it's flakes it's flakes of blood on the floor so okay. yeah okay it's like something seems fishy no witnesses yes. <laughs> decapitates you touch, her. you touch the touch the blood it's still tacky yeah no it's it's uh it's it matches up with the timeline all right all right well uh, you got anything in town we need to do? Because otherwise we're gonna go kill that uh, church. So. Oh, you're talking to me. I was still being ashamed. Oh yeah, well, g- keep doing that, but also answer, please. <laughs> uh, you can help us build some stuff. 
No, I uh, said kill. Kill? Do you know Timmy down the street? Nope. He stole my plow. He stole your entire plow? Well, I mean, were you using it? Well, no. he borrowed it. He just hasn't given it back yet. Can, can you explain to me what you're plowing on a beach? It's to, it's above. There's Guys, don't propose <laughs> in the universe. Jesus. That's what she says directly to you. Oh, all right. Well, you you seem about as useful as... Yeah, all right. We're going to go. Uh, I mean, she says, back. She, she told says, us where the plot is, so... If you just go north past the cornfields that are just outside the beach you'll find it your plow where uh, my plow we're, we're not we're not talking about your plow anymore we're talking about the church we're, oh but yes the, the church is just past the, the you cornfields. you go back and knit i'm gonna now before i, I hear cornfields that's a it's usually a doozy. You guys got uh, animated scarecrows that we should worry about? Might attack us if we go through? No, it's usually just Timmy in a scarecrow outfit. All right. We'll, we'll take care of Timmy if we come across him. Don't worry. Okay. You have an unusual fascination with this boy. <laughs> as you guys are... are you, wait, you do anything else? Okay, as you guys... As you guys are walking away, you see uh, you see this old lady walk over to a giant sword uh, that's on the ground, and she picks it up, and she can't really lift it, but she starts dragging it behind her um, just to do as you said, which is make sure she can defend the town. Looks like she found her plow. Hmm. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yep. All right. So let's get you guys to a different map. Bam, 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 bam. Yep. So we are going to be going to. Um, come on, map. There we go. Boop. All right, now I got to summon you guys to the map. Summon players. Okay, so this is actually two different maps. I like to give people credit, uh, but I need to find your characters. Thordak. And where are you at? Did I make you? Oh, well, I'll put you back in a second. Um, this map is uh, the everything but the church is from Tales Bazaar, uh, Zikrin's Laboratory by Tenny Moon Penny Moonwink. And the church is also from Tales Bazaar. It's by Mad Ravel. And I didn't make you correctly, Rob. Uh, this looks like a small map. I don't know. <laughs> Some pretty big AOE. <laughs> <laughs> uh oh. And that's how we end at 10 15. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's rename you here. Crack, Tim Cow. Oh, hey, uh, you know what? I'm so sorry. What's up? When, uh, before we leave town, I'm going to use Hero's Feast because I can. So, okay, you did that. Uh, here. Sweet. Uh, I give, uh, oh, did I have to roll for that? No. Nope. It just doesn't. I think you get, no, you, you roll does. for the bonus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, 13. So, okay. So Crack kind of like, he's like, oh, hold on. And he puts his hand in his bag and it takes 10 minutes to cast, but fuck it. And some holy light glows out of his his laptop bag of a bag. And he pulls out a giant, it just, he starts pulling it out and it keeps pulling a giant stick of mutton. And he hands it to Thordak. Um, and then he eats one too. Okay. So there, this should, uh, this should help. Okay. So you spend the other half of your casting from the original rit ritual to make this spell work, uh, and you guys head up to the north. Uh, as you head up the north, the um, the ground does start to raise an elevation a little bit. The beach turns into cliffs. Um, in the distance, uh, about half a mile to a mile away, you do see a, um, a church. And as you get closer, that church looks kind of weird um 
you're used to seeing normal bright churches um, with um, stained glass windows and pleasant architecture. This is unsettling to look at, almost as if it was built to make people uneasy. Is this... Is the water surrounding us cannon? Uh, so the water on uh, the west side, so I'm going to turn the light on. Um, do you see the wa- the light over here? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay, so this water is cannon. The water uh, to the south side, like next to you, that is not. That's just, that would be more land that is starting to slope down because that's the way that you came. All right, uh, so we're coming up. We we exit the cornfield, mm-hmm. and you and you you start heading up a hill, uh, and that's probably where we're gonna start being like cautious, okay, and watching for danger. Sure. Um, I'd like to stealth. So, <laughs> okay, give me a stealth. Twenty. Okay. Uh, so you are. I mean, don't super silent. Um, why don't you guys give me a perception check as you're getting closer to the, uh, to the church. 23. 14. Um, I want to say real quick, <laughs> when, uh, uh, Thordak starts to stealth, mm-hmm. uh, I'm going to tell him, I have a, uh, I have a tool, well, maybe I'll use it on myself, but, uh, it can help with scouting a lot. It can turn you, it can send you to the ethereal plane. <laughs> Uh, but nobody else can see you, but you can see him. So, uh, we can use that at some point, I'm sure. But uh, I'll I'll hang back a little bit while you scout ahead, uh, and you let me know if you run into problems. Sounds good. Okay, so you come up this hill. Uh, as you're getting closer, you can see that the outside of this church has been etched to look like bones, and instead of being a normal boxy shape with a triangle peak for for the uh, for the roof <laughs> this has been caved it's been like it's concave and convex it's just uh pulling in and out on itself as it goes up to the roof uh, and the roof is almost bubbly uh it looks like it's rotting but the building looks sturdy at the same time and on the front of the church about 15 feet top uh high is a gigantic skull. Um, and then under it are two doors. And then to the, the west is a cliffside. Thordak will pull out both of his rapiers to him inside of his body. They look like needles, but he just starts moving forward, looking around, judging seeing if there's a, a point of egress that can get in and get us in and not have an issue. Okay. So as you're looking around, uh, there is the front doors. There is at the top of the building, there is a, it looks like a bell tower, but you don't really see a bell in it. And there are a few air quotes windows in the side of the building they are made of glass but the windows instead of being see-through they're just extremely dirty and filth like they're just super filthy everything around here just smells a little bit like decay Uh, and like i said as you're looking at the building it does make you feel a little uneasy okay um so i I should probably describe thordak is kind of like he's dressed in dark clothes but it's normal clothes it's not like armor or anything like this he's just wearing like like dark colored pants and a dark shirt uh the only thing he has on besides his weapons uh and just normal traveler's clothes is he does have on steel gauntlets and a belt um but thordak does have a glorious beard nice okay what about you there, Crack? What does your guy look like since I didn't ask you what you look like? Um, so he looks armor wise, he's a classic cleric. Uh I'm pretty sure he's wearing uh well, let's see. The the stock standard chainmail. 
Okay. Um, little tabard that has a fist going upwards with with radiant light coming out of the helm, I think. Mm-hmm. Is, uh, regardless. Um, he has a, a shield and a normal mace on his side. Um, he does have an amulet that is in the same shape of his uh, the sigil on his tabard. Um, he has a belt probably very similar to the one... <laughs> That Thordak has, to be honest, um, and is, he is also it a, has. Does it have a dwarven face on it? Um, <laughs> sure, we got him at the same outlet mall, um, and we also he also has a book at his side in a pouch um, or a little holster that he has. Uh, but he is an Earth Ganassi, so his um, he kind of has very well shaped, well groomed um beard uh and goatee um and he is wearing a a a, a fairly wide brimmed hat um his skin is very metallic and, and uh, a bit shiny but mostly it's kind of kind of like wrought iron very dull um uh or what is the word matte finish with kind of like pock marks in the in the material across his his face and whatnot um so that's what it is and he probably is catching up to thordak at this point if thordak hasn't shouted out that there's combat up ahead yeah <laughs> nice i think we'll move to the front then and just take the normal point of entry and see if i can uh check for traps and potentially unlock the door okay give me a um uh, I guess that would be either perception if you're just looking or investigation if you're really getting in there. Uh, 23 perception. Okay. Uh, you don't see any traps on this door. Okay. Uh, then I will open up. Okay. So let's open up the door for you. Oh! I didn't. I've never seen that animation before. What, the door open? Doors work? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. Doors open, trap doors work. All nice. right. So, if I could get this, uh, oh, stop it. Uh, the, there we go. That the animation's better for it. Okay. So you open this, uh, these doors up and the floors are extremely filthy. The leading down the middle, um, think of where the, you know, the bride and groom would walk down in a, in a, uh, a wedding. Um, it, instead of having like carpet, about every four feet, there is a big stone skull. And um, give me a religion check. Whoever wants to. 14. 14? 17. <laughs> 17. All right. Um, so I, I promise he's is... not a skill monkey. I actually have a plus zero to religion, but... <laughs> Uh, this is clearly all the um, all of the markings of Nezrakal, uh, who is essentially the god to necromancers. Uh, there are a few, <coughs> excuse me, a few pews on the side, but you can also see that there are worn spots of blood, but dried blood. It's not sitting there like with the other place. Um, this has just been aged um almost as if like they're doing some sort of sacrifices or something here uh but the church is empty uh thordak will kind of like pull out he's got a holy symbol of gorlon that he also wears and he'll uh he'll keep that on the outside of him just the emblem as he moves forward into this Hmm. i don't trust this no, this uh, this doesn't look healthy. Huh. Well, well, I mean, worshiping Nezrakak always ends in death. That's for sure. All right. Well, if they're coming up here and they don't want people looking at the place, then I'm sure that there's something that they also don't want people seeing. So, I'll try and find us a a point down into uh, some type of trapdoor or something. So as you guys are walking around, uh, you do notice that in the back, um, there is a ladder that goes up 
into what you would imagine is the uh, equivalent of a bell tower of, above. Mm. Do, do we want to go up? I'm confused. We could. Uh, something else we can do. I can uh, make us walk on water. And we could try and uh, scale down, see if there's anything down there. All right, that's a good point. Why don't you head up into the bell tower and I'll take a look around here, see if there's anything else I can find. Okay. So we'll do Whee. that. He can climb up the ladder and I'll look around this area. Okay. So um, you climb up the ladder crack and give me a perception check. A 20. A 20. As you are standing there looking out, um, you look down towards the towards Shale Beach. Uh, you can see everything that's going on down there, and everything's still small. Uh, you look to the east, you're not seeing anything. You look to the north, you're not seeing anything. But as you turn to the west, you actually see a creature that is standing upright with fish scaly skin uh, just come out of the water uh, and start walking towards the cliff base. Okay, do I see anything interesting in the bell tower itself? In the bell tower itself? Yeah. Uh, nope, this looks like it's a place where they come up and you can just look, look out, look around. Uh, I'm going to ring the bell. Okay. Go ahead and ring the bell. <laughs> he takes... <laughs> Only because this is one shot. Uh, dog, 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 dog. <laughs> okay. Going crazy with it. Uh, uh, Thordak, you are looking around and uh, you're just finding just little bits and stuff uh, all about uh, Mezrakal and bits and pieces of bone and blood and sinew uh, when all of a sudden there's a dong, dong, dong from upstairs. Uh, even though I think originally I told you guys I didn't have a bell, it does now. Uh, you don't know what's happening, but it sounds like something's, something's definitely happening up there. <laughs> Uh, Thordak will smile. He's he's like, yeah, that'll get him, and he'll like kind of grip the swords and be ready for it. Okay. So you're standing there, and a minute passes, and two minute passes, three minutes passes, and nothing, nothing happens. Really? Mm hmm. Hmm. Thordak will, will shout up the ladder. All right, we're going to have to go find them because... Uh, I thought that would work. <laughs> it usually works. Big sissy energy. All right. I know. Oh, pussies. All right, did you find like a trap door or something? He, he, he slides down the ladder with his gloves <laughs> on and it looks super cool. Everything uh, around you is smashed to bits and I'm just standing there. I'm like, no, nah, I didn't find anything. I didn't... <laughs> I checked. I checked everywhere. <laughs> yeah, you did. Good shit. Uh, well, fuck. Um. Uh, hmm. Okay, I did see uh one of those shark people uh going uh, off the cliff in the water. Came up out of the water, walked towards the cliff. I assume he didn't climb the cliff, so there might be something to it. All right. Well, did you say water walking or water breathing? Water walking. Uh -huh. Fuck! I'm not getting in that water. God damn. All right. Let's That'd uh. Be a tragedy. Let's do that, and we can go into this. All right. Uh, I'm not gonna ritual kit. Eh, well, it's a third level spell. Shit. <laughs> uh. Yeah, I'll ritual cast it. Fuck it. Uh. Water walk. Woo! Okay. So uh, you cast Water Walk, and where you're at right now, it doesn't really feel as if anything's changed. But as you, uh, if you decide to get into the water, which looks like somebody just fell into the water, yeah. Um, 
<laughs> that's okay. Uh, you would be able to walk on top of it. It would also work on mud and lava and stuff. As you get closer to the edge of the cliff where you're at right there, uh, you are able to see behind some bushes that there are some crudely cut steps going down towards the water. Convenient. All right, let's go stab some fishies. All right, now don't... <clears throat> oh, shit. Okay. Uh, you run down. I, uh, uh, I, I climb down. I don't know if Thordak jumps. Uh, no, I was. I'm trying to move my. <laughs> I'm trying to move my character down, but it's just it's hovering. So boop there. It uh, it's okay. still solid surface, so it'll hurt just as much as uh, laying it on the ground if you jump. So you guys get down and you find that even with your height, uh, the water does come up to over your waist. Uh, the water is it's nice. We're, we're uh, standing yeah. on the water. Oh, that's right. That's right. I pro forgot 30 seconds and I already forgot you have water. <laughs> water. Uh, so you look down, you're like, hmm, that probably would be up to my waist if I was actually standing in it. Uh, and uh, you see before you, there is a uh, there's a set of rocks that come up out of the water. And then to the right of that, there is a cave opening. All right. Um, All right. I I would imagine walking on water is probably pretty silent. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You don't need to. I mean, if you want to, I guess your equipment. If you want to roll a, a stealth check, you can because you got nine hundred. Um, you can have an advantage on it because there's the sound of the ocean and stuff. Uh. Okay. Uh. A uh, twenty. Okay. You're perfect. You're super stealthy. Um. Uh, the sound of the ocean is covering up any anything that would be coming off of you and then you're walking on top of water so it's not going to uh it's not going to make much noise so this cave before you leads in um and it's super dark in here but it leads off to the right uh and as you walk in you hear a low guttural growl. Uh-oh. Get him. Oh, usually usually uh, the DM then says roll for initiative. <laughs> After they say that, so... He Sorry. does. Uh, oh. But he <laughs> didn't. I didn't yet. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> well, uh, I wonder if that... I wonder if they just growl all the time or if that means they see us. Uh, I, I guess I'll look down. <laughs> okay. Uh, so you look down. Um, and as you do, um, you can see beneath you there is about a four foot shark. It's awesome. got. It's got. Um, you know, very gray skin, uh, and it's a, a, if you're familiar with sharks, it's a black tip. I'm not, so. <laughs> okay, so it's, it's it's got it's got black on the tips of it. Um, so it's not just a clever name, okay? No, no, it's, it's very on the nose. Uh, uh, so if, if kids at home, if you're if you're trying to figure out what that is, you can Google uh, that type of shark. All right, uh, I'm gonna make our life a little easier, and I'm gonna use passive out trace. <laughs> which is a racial feature. So uh, Crack will kind of reach out and, and uh, just tap the, the shoulder of oh, your character's name, uh, Thordak. Um, <laughs> and uh, it, it, both of our skins kind of like morph and change, kind of like a chameleon to where the upper parts of our body are kind of like match the, um, the stone of the walls. And then the lower parts of our body are kind of like blue, like the, the water beneath us. And we both get plus 10 <laughs> to awesome. our stealth checks. So awesome. Lord Ack, <laughs> you, you got a plus 600. 40s, motherfucker. Uh, and just just for your reference, I put a picture of a black tip shark shark in the Discord. Uh, so you guys uh, are now super super silent, and um, as you walk farther in, you see that shark. Uh, but when you get to well, move your guys to where you want to go. Thordax like guard dog. 
uh, uh, guard shark. And when you get to there, guard we roll shark. for initiative. Hey, wait, wait. <laughs> what oh, the shit. hell? That doesn't I look like a stealthy. that doesn't look like a shark. <laughs> it does not look like a shark. So uh, let's see here. Uh, what? Crack, you're, you're going to be player A. What? What's your? You're giving me you know, you know your initiative. All oh. right, a um. ten. Oof. I Why actually... did I even use path that trace? <laughs> our our stealth should be thirty. Nineteen. Nineteen. All right. Auto roll initiative. Oh, they. It rolled weird. All right. So let's see here. You guys walk in, and as you do, there is a creature over to your left. The way this cave set up is it runs diagonal to your right, and then there are some uh, some indentations on the left. Uh, it almost looks like shark's teeth. Uh, to the left, though, right now there is a creature. It is. You'd probably guess seven, eight foot tall. It looks like you've mixed a fish, a man, and a shark together. It's got an elongated nose with sharp teeth. Uh, you can see that it is carrying, um, it is carrying uh, a trident in its hand. Uh, and that's when you guys came across that corner. You saw that, and that's what triggered the initiative. So. You hear some swishing noises from the back of the cave as a creature. That's too far. Starts swimming towards you. Uh, the same one that's right in front of us or a different one? Nope. I'm going to give this one fly. And boop. So before you... I just made it come out of the water so you could see it. There is a shark oh. that started swimming towards you. Uh, after right, that, yeah, right. it's going to be uh, Thordak's turn. Get him! Get him! I'm going to throw some fight music on. <laughs> bump, bump. Uh, all Maybe right, just so... Comment. Yeah, so Thordak um, pulls out both of his uh, rapiers. And then he would like to rage. Okay. Uh, go ahead. I will allow some raging. Um, I think he, he'll he just kind of step in front a little bit just because, you know, he's going to take his first attack. Um, a as he pulls out his first weapon, it has like a, a horse's head on the end of it. Um, okay. It's a, a unique weapon as it almost drips ice crystals and uh he goes in to uh attack this creature with it and uh critical oh jesus all right really <laughs> so this this shark comes flying across the water it's fin breaching uh and as it as it gets close to you you take a step forward and just smash it right in the face uh what's the damage um i don't even know how to calculate the how we do the the rolls but um <laughs> it's it's a lot you're saying it's a lot yeah so um if I, I'm just going to go with what, what was rolled versus trying to max sure. one of the rolls. Um, okay. So 23 damage plus 32 critical. Jesus. All right. Um, so uh, this creature comes uh, a breach. It, it just that the, the dorsal fin starts to breach and you just smash in its head. And uh, I get to see what it looks like when a shark flips upside down from being dead. Okay. Uh, I won't add in the rest of the stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Um, a as you see him strike, uh, there's a flash of, of light and a flash of blue that happened at the exact same time when he strikes in with the first attack. Uh, awesome. And since that was the first attack, yep. he will then run across <laughs> and stab down into the other one. Okay, go ahead and give me another attack. Uh, and a shark B. I like the the flipped over animation for the shark. Yeah, it works really too, well with fish. It's super <laughs> awesome. 
Okay. Um, so this is just a... Oh, this is actually a, uh, a second attack with the same hand. Okay. Um, but no... Uh, I rolled a 20. You rolled a 20. Yes, that is going to hit all of my monsters. Okay, so... At least those monsters. Uh, six damage plus three cold damage. All plus, right, so nine damage. Uh, eight radiant damage. All right, so 17 total damage. Whoops. Yeah, the, uh, the last, the radiant damage was from my... Uh, because I'm a zealotry barb, so I I attack with divine fury. Okay, awesome. So this creature, this uh, shark here, uh, is just mind his own business, and you smash it right in its big stupid head, um, and you can see that there is now blood in the water from this guy. Okay. All right. You gonna do anything else? Not an oxymoron. No. Uh, I used my bonus action already, so I'm, I'm, I'm done. Okay. So, uh, this guy. All right. So from the corner, you hear a snarl as another one, a creature like that looks like the first half, sl half swims, half runs over towards, uh, Thordak. Jesus and Christ. As he runs over. These guys are uh, cute. Yeah, they are. Uh, let's see here. He is going to attack three times. So it runs over, and as it does, it swings its uh its its claw. Mm -hmm. And that is a 22 to hit. That and hit. then it brings it brings down to bite. And that's a nine misses. and then it goes to bring its trident and, and stab into you and that's an 11 and that misses all right so the claws rip into your uh, into your shirt and it does that's eight uh 12 damage as it slashes your uh your barely barely armored body uh what six kind of because i'm raged he said oh, okay. slash okay so it is it is slash yeah okay all right cool so your your uh barbarianness helps you out the next sawagin uh he charges over and is going to do the same thing he's going to attack with his claw and that is a 26 his bite <laughs> is a 19 19 misses. Okay. And the other one doesn't hit because it's like a 12. So the claws hit you again. Uh, again, wow. slashing damage. And that is eight. So you'll get four damage uh, as it, it rakes its claws across your chest. Uh, you've been beat the shit so many times. It's almost like your 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 skin has hardened uh, from that. Crack, it is your turn. <laughs> All right. Uh, so I am going to go ahead and use, um, I am going to use, uh, oh, um, I'm going to use, he, nah, bless really quick. <laughs> He-Man? You're gonna He-Man's not a, I'm a gonna, power. I'm gonna, well, I'm going to He-Man, so I'm gonna move over to here. Am I within range of Yes. Uh can I Yeah, I'm gonna move well oh Jesus Christ. You're gonna get in between the shark and the uh the shark yes. person? I love ah, it. Please don't attack. <laughs> um this the walls are a little narrow, but I'm I'm trying to make it so I can give um Thordak uh sneak attack okay. by being engaged with these guys, so Appreciated. Um, with the the big the big creatures at least. Okay. Uh, I'm using bless. Okay. Um, on myself and Thordek. Okay. And I have uh, a thing that makes that a bonus action instead of an action. Okay. So that's the thing. So we get to add one d four to our attacks. Um, 
and because of that, so Crack uh, quickly he holds up his palm and um, a piece of holy energy flies to Thordak and kind of imbues itself to both of his forearms uh, and the same happens to Crack and he points at Thordak and says, go hit now uh, and you get to make one attack one weapon attack uh, right oh, now nice. on, on your turn yep, sweet if I target with this spell cool so um since it's on crack's turn my sneak attacks back Woohoo. Uh, so 32 to yes and uh, who, who are you attacking sorry uh i'm gonna attack the uh this uh this guy right here okay the guy on the left yeah since he's next to him so i guess we're, we're gonna call him thawagin a oh my gosh uh, so 19 damage from my hit. Um, and what'd you roll again for a hit to hit? Uh, 32. Oh yeah. Yeah. That's, that's <laughs> <laughs> uh, a one before nine, nine divine fury damage as well. Okay. So, uh, 28 total. And this is a bludgeoning weapon. Piercing. It's a Piercing? rapier. Oh, it's rapiers. That's right. That's right. Uh, so you um, you're standing there, and crack comes over and gives you the old uh, the old stabby stab guy thing, and uh, you run over there and just stab that stab the sawagin right in the arm. Uh, you can feel it puncture his flesh, uh, but unlike the shark, he's still looking pretty good. Well, we'll see about that. Uh, and then I would like to use Toll the Dead on that guy. Uh, so, uh, and that's not, so I just use a leveled spell and it was a bonus action because of a special thing that's Correct. a resource. And now I'm using a cantrip. Um, okay. that is an action. So, um, okay. So it makes a wisdom save. DC a is wisdom 20. save for the Saogi? Yeah. To the, the, Byron, the, the, the same one that just got stabbed. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So... <laughs> that's a seven all okay, right so it's directly in dice jail uh yes roll oh wow uh 16 damage necrotic Oof. damage he Oof. he um he kind of like pushes out towards the Sa the saladin um and a, a large a giant bell that uh is reminiscent of the one in the tower above um just starts gonging back and forth um doing damage that's my and this this thing grabs its head, and as it does, you can see there's blood coming out of its ears. All right, and now it's time for the sharky sharks. So uh, there is a shark in the back over here that swims up behind Crack, and it is going to try to bite him right in the tuchus. All right, so first I have to get it to float so you can see it's there. All right, it is going to attack What the you. heck? It's got flanking. Um, that is a. Sorry, I gotta get my sheet up here. That's a twenty-two to hit. That hits. All right. And I mean, there's the die. It does eight points of damage as it bites directly into your ass. You whore. It goes. I am not. <laughs> I'm, I'm saving myself for marriage as the shark in front of you bites. Um, it's going to bite you as well. Me? Yep. How? I'm... <laughs> oh, sorry. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Hides behind. <laughs> there you go. That makes that makes it better. All right. So he's going to bite. Um, he's going to bite uh, Thordak. So that is a natural 20. Oh my god. Miss. Oh, <laughs> miss. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Uh, that is 16 points of damage as it bites in. Uh, it, it just gets into your leg um, and you end up taking 8 points of damage as it, it catches your thigh. And just like that... We are back at the top of the round, and it is the Dead Reef Shark's turn, followed by Thordak's turn. Thordak. over the shark, still dead. Yeah. <laughs> Thordak just kind of, he gets that mad glint in his eyes, and he just starts 
just <laughs> doing his little stabby thing. Uh, so and who are you stabbing? I'm gonna go with the uh, Shanguine here over uh, the on same the one. I, yeah, the same one the, I had, we attacked last the, time for. The one that's bleeding. Uh huh. All right, so um, 23. That hits. Um. My gosh, every time I've I've rolled like the last three times I've rolled a one on that. Uh, 18 points of damage uh Wait, from my normal eight, you rolled a one and it's 18 points of damage yeah oh, <laughs> i forgot how terrible it is to run high level adventures um right, 18 <laughs> it's fun but i just i don't know how to do it it's i haven't done it enough plus nine points of radiant damage all right so hold on i got the 18 and then the nine so you're stabbing this thing in the face uh, and as you are, there's just this radiant light that's shooting into your into your swords. Uh, he's getting a radiant facial, and uh, it it's uh, it's almost dead. <laughs> uh, okay, so while you're all right, so that it only that only works on the very first attack. Uh, so then my second attack, uh, eighteen. Uh, yeah. That hits. 23 points of uh, damage. You can oh, stop. No. It's, it's dead. Well, uh, no, I'm sorry. That should be 12 points because it added in was, sneak. I was going to say, is it more than five? Because it's more than five. Yeah. It's still dead. Yeah. 12 <laughs> points. Uh, sorry, it okay. added in sneak a second time. Okay. That's okay. Um, so that's that. It's going to then turn towards the shark. And for his bonus action, he's going to make another offhand attack with no damage or no bonuses to it um okay for an 11 oh uh, wait th that's hang on uh did I'm, you miss uh did no i forgot to roll the <laughs> the bonus thing uh well it doesn't tell me what i rolled um boo I tried to roll again. It just rolled a natural twenty. <laughs> I tried to add in my bless. Um, here, I'll just do it so this way. So you roll an eleven plus, you get more. I, I bless because oh, it that's hits. it hits. It's a twelve. Uh, yeah, there. I it becomes a, a fifteen. Boom! Uh, bless coming in, baby. Let's <clears> get it. One point of damage. Okay, that's just <laughs> enough. To, oh, you said just one point of damage? Yeah literally oh, one it's... one point because he's just like nicks it with a with his sword yeah it's okay they got they've got really thick skin just like the barbarians too so uh it uh it takes one point of damage it is also almost dead <laughs> my god all right so uh this sawagin over here is going to try and attack uh thordak because his friend was just murdered by him I, I guess I should explain to people who are like, how is he able to do this? Uh, I have dual wielder feet, so I'm able to dual wield non-light weapons as normal weapons. So that way, so people understand. And as a DM, they're level 15. So I just imagine they can do everything. <laughs> uh, so um, this Sawagin is going to attack Thordak uh, three attacks again. Okay. Uh, so the first one is the claw. That is a 20, non-natural. Miss. Oh, fuck you. <laughs> uh, that's a 23 on the bite. Hits. All right, come on, try that. 21. Meets. Yes! <laughs> I get to try that. But right, I love it. this, oh. that my guy has 21 AC not wearing anything. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so uh, the bite is uh 11 points of damage so that'll be uh five points of damage as it bites you and then the try that is uh, let's see that's 17 points of damage so eight points of damage as it uh it goes to claw and it just kind of pushes you back with its with its hand because it doesn't really make contact but as it does it bites down on your arm and then just brings its trident up into your side uh stabbing you uh for whatever that damage was that i just said okay and then his buddy is dead which that's really great his feet are just sticking out of the water and now crack it's your turn 
Yeah, I was gonna say the flipped over animation doesn't work quite as well <laughs> for those guys. They're heavy. Right. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, I'm going to go ahead and um, I use healing word on Thordak. So um, he kind of twists his finger in the air a little bit and, and uh, a, a spiral of green radiant energy goes and for, shoves itself into Thordak's nostrils and mouth, something he's familiar with, but is <laughs> unpleasant to those who are unfamiliar with it. Um, and uh, he gets eight, da eight healing, eight damage, eight healing. So you heal yes, for eight. Yes, I like this. Uh, I approve that you give him eight damage. Eight, so Thordak gets eight healing, um, and um, Crack says, "Go attack again!" Oh fuck this guy! <laughs> I know, right? Imagine <laughs> writing my congressman. Oh, yeah, that is, womp, it does, womp. It does for, for the record, and you have less. Uh, for the record, it uses your reaction. Yeah. So, uh, but yeah, you mm. make sure you use bless. Natural uh, one with a blessed natural one. Yeah. Double natural ones. I rolled a 12. <laughs> Jesus um, Christ. Well, that is a thing. Um, feels bad. We're, so we're going to say that as this happens, your water walk gives out what? and you splash into the water. I well, the spell that he cast, I lose concentration on, or I, I lose my effect on? Yep. Alright. Casey, it's the only way <laughs> It's the only way he can make us. I attack so bad that I disenchant myself somehow. <laughs> you know, you're not right. wearing any armor, so it really That's doesn't. fucking right. That's oh, right. That's funny. Okay, All well, right. anyway, I use as my actual action, I use Word of Radiance as my cantrip. Um, so, uh, the shark right below me and the fish guy need to make a constitution saving throw of 20. So the one that bit you and the other guy. All right. Yeah. So the, the, yellow one's, five feet. the yellow one's the Salagin. Uh, let's see here. I rolled a natural 20 on the Salagin and a natural one on my shark. Okay. Uh, the shark takes 11 radiant damage. All right. The shark, the one that hasn't taken any damage yet. Oof. So you you hit you hit this thing with what would you would you cast on it? Uh, word of radiance. Okay, so there's just this uh, this light that envelops this shark, and as it does, uh, you can see that its eyes have rolled back, um, and they're showing black, but there is blood coming out from the sides of them. All right, that's my turn. Okay, so my sharks are going to attack. Uh, the one in the front is going to attack uh, Thordic. Uh, that's a 20... No, sorry, that's the reason the wrong stat. Both of those are 19s. They do not hit. Uh, and then I'm going to attack Crack. With who? The shark that's right behind shark? you. Shark? Yep. What? And that, what? that is a natural 20. What? And a 23. So you are going oh, those to hits. take... Uh, that's 17 points of damage as it bites into your leg. And as that happens... Right in the ass. Your water wall kicks back in, and you come back up. <laughs> okay. I gotta do something. What am I gonna say? You break your legendary sword? It slips yes. off into the dark and you can't see it? No. You could that. say I drop it into the water. <laughs> Oh, then they spent a half an hour trying to find it. <laughs> no, it my... becomes like uh, what was uh, what was the the movie with Cuba Gooding Jr. where they cut the bag open and just dumped it in the sea. Yeah. You try to find your sword. Uh, what was that For Honor or something like that? That was a good movie. Uh, yeah, it was a good movie. I got to see where this. While you're telling me what I'm. That would have been more Google diabolical because we're water walking, so we couldn't go down to get it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's just laying out there looking at it like an aquarium. Uh oh, so it's Thordex turn. Yeah, it's it was called Men of Honor. Men of Honor, there you go. Yeah, that's um, a good movie. He is going to just start stabbing into the Shanguin, whatever Shanguin. Okay. Uh, twenty nine. Yep, that hits. Twenty seven damage plus 
six divine fury. Okay. So you're stabbing into this this Salagin, and um, you can just see your rapiers popping in and out, uh, poking holes in its skin. Uh, but it's still not it's still not bleeding everywhere. Twenty four. Just, just most places, yeah. Twenty four. That's gonna hit for eleven points of damage. Okay. Still good. Anything else? Yep. yep. And oh my god, I did it again. I, I with my normal rapier, I rolled a a one and a, a d4 of a one. Like that is unbelievably impressive. Yeah, that's that is uh, that is lottery winning odds right there. Uh, so you you stab this guy, this Sawagin, You stab him twice, and the second one goes so far through that uh, when you do thanks to your guys' uh, suggestion, you drop your other rapier into the into the water. That's fine. Okay, uh, but he is bleeding, and it is now his turn if you don't have anything else. Uh, you, no. <laughs> you said that he goes so far through with his rapier? Like, his, it goes... It it goes to the side? He goes... He goes, like, so far deep into him, it surprises him, and he drops his other rapier. Okay. And now it's this guy's turn. He's going to do the normal um, claw, bite, stab. All right, claw. That is a, a 12. That's not enough, definitely. Uh, a 14 and the trident. Come on, trident. 22. So the 22 is... Uh, that is 11 points of damage, so uh, 5 points of damage uh, from the old trident as it uh, it slips past your guard and stabs you in the arm. Okay. Crack! Okay. Um, I'm using another uh, healing word on Thordag. Okay. Healing for eight again, um, and saying again, hit the big ugly one for me. Yeah. Uh, fifteen. Fifteen does not hit. Yep. Bless. That, that's with bless. <laughs> that is. Yeah, I I rolled a three plus ten plus two. Oof. Oof. All right, um, I'm using Word of Radiance again. So go uh -huh. ahead and give me two 20 saves for Khan. Okay, yellow is okay. Uh, that is neither one. Yep. Uh, wow, both of them take seven radiant damage. Uh, he, I didn't describe it last time, but he like, he, he looks at the shark and he says, burn. And like the word kind of like comes out and you can see the word written in the air kind of like between like the musical like lines that musical mm -hmm. notes would be in. And it kind of swirls the air and, and slaps both of them with uh, radiant wordage. Uh, I gotta, I gotta but... give you uh, oh, I just, who was, I'm getting disadvantage. When was I supposed to get disadvantage? Misprint, I'm sorry, when was I supposed to get disadvantage? Yeah, don't worry uh, about it. We passed it. it. You can use it next time. <laughs> uh, so, um, I want to give you inspiration, Crack, um, because of how you're describing all the things that are happening. So, good job. Uh, anything else before I attack you with my sharks? Uh, <laughs> nope. <laughs> Hit me, baby. All right. So, uh, first shark is going to uh, attack Thordak. Wait, sorry. It's actually, uh, it attacks Crack. Uh, that is a 23. Yep. All right. That is six points of damage. <laughs> there you go. Hey, Miss Brent would like to disadvantage that attack. Okay. Okay. <laughs> hold on. Let me, let me get back there and uh, let me reroll that. That works because that is a seven. You get zero, <laughs> zero damage there. Uh, good job, Miss Brent. Uh, so now I'm attacking uh, Thordak. How much was that? Six? Yeah, it was six. Uh, so Thordak, uh, neither one hit you because I rolled a whopping ten and a eight. 
So we are back to the top of the order, and it is your turn, Thordak. All right. Uh, he's going to go back to just stab, stabbing. Um, rolled another natural one. Oh, my God. Sweet baby Jesus. And then a 28. Oh, no. um, uh, uh, your, your sword is at the bottom of the water. No, nah, that's... Uh... I, mean, I, I kind of want to make you stab. Oh. Sorry. I want to make you. St- I want to make you stab crack. Like you went like this. <laughs> well, I'm you attacking like the complete city. opposite direction of crack. So <laughs> no. I'm not sure one doesn't hit me either. <laughs> Asshole. <laughs> All right. Uh, <clears throat> fuck. I don't. You. You just. You, tr- you trip and fall and you're prone. I don't know. I can't. I mean, you rolled so many ones. I don't know what to do anymore. I mean, uh, so... at this point, it's just. He's yeah. he's really good at this. Uh, so with his second attack. He, uh, he, he does 24 <laughs> points of damage. To the uh, Salagin? Yeah. Okay. Uh, do you have any radiant damage? Yes, I just was... Uh, one yeah, you added in. Uh, 10 points of radiant damage. Oh, there you go. Now he's dead. So uh, as you're falling, you're like, oh, fuck! And then you stab him right in the face. Uh, and As, as he's like, dying, I'm going to grab his trident and snap off the tines and kind of like compare it, make sure it's about the same size as my rapier. Now I've got two rapiers again. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I like it. Uh, so as you do that, um, they are both dead and crack, it is your turn. Hang on. Oh, sorry, you still got more turns. I'm sorry. Now that I have a, a bonus <laughs> weapon, I'm going to stab the shark with my Makeshift okay, rapier. Stabby stab. Yeah. Uh, uh, 13? Uh, yeah, that hits. Three points of damage. Oh, fuck me. All right. He is um, very, almost very, dead. Very <laughs> badly hurt. He's yep. almost dead. Yep. Yeah, here. I didn't realize right. it turned on build moon. Uh, yep. Crack, it's your turn. I wish I could uh, attack both of them at once, uh, but I can't. So... Um, <laughs> I <can't> some... <laughs> Sorry. Uh, he got caught in the drain. No, he got caught in the drain. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm going to use Told the Dead on the guy right next to me. Okay. Um, so make a wisdom saving throw, please. Uh, that's a 16. Okay. Failure. Bitch. Uh, for 23 necrotic damage. He is dead. The bell, like, spawns on top of the shark, and the gong, the, what do you call it? The the pendulum, like, smashes the shark inside (laughs) of it and just pulps it. Um... Nice. Okay, uh, I'm gonna move next to the other shark. My token is invisible, as is. Um, I actually don't see my token at all. What? Uh, yeah, I don't know. It disappeared. You, well, let me. Let you me can see him on stream. <laughs> yeah. I don't oh know no, why. it's gonna be uh, the same thing that happened with me yesterday. I don't know what it is. Uh, it's just randomly. Uh, I'm, I'm next to the shark. I'll try and fix this. Yep. Uh, hold on here. I'm gonna put you in. Uh, but that is my turn all right uh okay so so i'm I'm giving him a sneak attack on the other shark okay oh i'm gonna fly Mm -hmm. you there and we're going to gosh darn it glitch you up and there you go can you see yourself now nope Mm, okay this shark tries to this shark tries to run away a shark tries to run away. Yep. <laughs> okay. Uh, so uh, you guys can get. Uh, well, I attacks. already. Hang on. I had my reaction attack from him casting on it. Oh. Okay. Uh, that was a thirty. Yes. For sixteen no, points it, of damage. It, it just misses. <laughs> All right. Tell me how you kill this uh, this last shark that was just trying to run away because it was being controlled by those mean mean creatures. <clears throat> now that I. Uh, now that I have this new makeshift rapier, I'm trying to test it out. And so he just kind of like stakes it to the to the ground underneath it and just like pierce it out. And he's like, eh, it's not as dainty as the other one, but it's okay. 
An ounce of metal is an ounce of metal. <sighs> I think that's the last of them. You okay? Oh, yeah, I'm fine. I didn't break out my big healing guns yet, but I can. Uh, Dan, can you take me to the map again? Uh, yes, I, I can. Uh, seven players to the board. All right. Boop, boop. All right. Do you, um, do you, you want to uh, You find scout? your rapier. It's okay. <laughs> I, I can't get to it, though, because, you know, it's on the bottom of the water floor. So he's he's got now a makeshift rapier made out of a okay. trident piece. <laughs> Uh, do we, do you want to, uh, scout ahead or? Sure. He'll, uh, uh he'll sneak ahead and, and try and look around the corner. Okay. So you come, uh, farther into this cavern and as you do, there is another opening where to the left, it starts to go in kind of like a shark's tooth, but the whole entire chamber opens up and then that opens up to even more chamber that's almost like a room there are steps carved into the sea floor that lead up into a a room that you think if the tide was a little bit different probably wouldn't have water in it but here there are bookshelves there's a bed uh and there is some torches uh to the uh, the north if you're using the directional chamber thing on the bottom mm -hmm. uh, there is also a set of double doors. I'll just kind of turn back and kind of, I assume cracks like now standing at the edge of the little thing. I'll just be like, come on. All right. Uh, wait, I'm sorry. Where are we? So are these doors closed? Yep. Up here. Yep. We'll look around, I guess. Uh, Thordak can't read really that well. So if there's anything that's a picture, picture book, that's good for him. He'll, yeah, there's actually a picture version of the Kama Sutra, uh, or whatever this is. The uh, it's the great Yamra Natra, um, but it's it's stick figures Ooh. with sharks. Yeah, the yes. shark version of the Kama Sutra. Uh, that's <laughs> perfect. Oh, yeah. Yep. Uh, okay, I'd like to put my ear to this double doors and listen. See okay. if I hear anything. Give me a good old fashioned perception check. Uh, Twelve with plus ten. No. <laughs> these these doors are very thick. I use Seven my or eight inspiration. Speeds. Hey, go ahead, use that. A twenty-two. Okay. Yay! Uh, you hear on the other side through the crack in the door, um, a gentle clicking and the sounds of torches, as well as the water splashing up and up against the uh, the door. A gentle clicking. Yes, just like a click, 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 click. <clears throat> Thordek will try to open the door if it's locked. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. It's too late. The door's I... already open. Oh, fuck. Thordek, no, you fool. <laughs> you big lug. The door opens. I was going to prepare. Oh, well, go ahead and You prepare. just want to see that door animation, Justin. <laughs> go ahead no, and prepare. Whatever you're going to do, you can do before the door opens up. Uh, oh, it's fine. Okay, That's so fine. before you is a it's a laboratory out of a nightmare uh there are giant um, brass containers almost like they look like stills there are beakers there are like just glass shiny things there's books everywhere there's copper bowls you can see different um uh, alchemical items almost like if you were for casting spells uh, and in the middle is a giant rock. Um, it's about two and a half, three feet tall, it's smooth on the top. It has blood everywhere. This blood is old and stained into the rock. And in the corner, there is a giant skull. With feet? <laughs> Well, you can see the feet because I can't turn it on. But yes, yeah. there's a giant skull over in the corner. Okay. Uh, I think he would just... I don't think Thordak would be paying attention to that. I think he'd be looking around at all the stuff in the laboratory. Okay. Uh, so you are looking around uh, and 
you find a uh, a book and it's opened up on the table it's actually the, the table that's right in front of you guys that has all the uh, all the laboratory equipment on it and uh, you said you don't read very well but if uh, if crack were to read it um, it says Shestrak, your faithful servant Yistramel has done it not only have I unlocked the secrets of everlasting life but I have also found the solution to your problem I have found a way to harness the life force the essence of magic to power my newest creations there are drawings of random arcane symbols uh, essentially uh, well give me an arcana check um now might be a good time to say crack is not very smart too uh five <laughs> okay you have no fucking idea what these are look well, you guys are well thordak this that does constitute a picture book right pictures of arcane drawings maybe <laughs> he'll, he'll take a look at it <laughs> 14 plus okay. plus uh, zero so it's so you're not sure exactly what these are uh, you see symbols for taking and giving, but that's all you can really tell what it is. <laughs> Looks like they're uh, giving it to somebody and then taking it. Just like that, you see the skull that's behind you start to click, 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 and everybody's going to roll for initiative. As it turns around, what it's a monster. monster is that? I have no idea, but it was cool, so I used it. An eleven. Okay. Um, where is my sheet? I get to roll for it. <laughs> Steal and loot. Yes, yes, Miss Print. That's what we should do. Twenty. Twenty. All right. Oof! I rolled terribly. Uh, so. Uh, as this, uh, why isn't this? Oh, as this creature starts to turn around, it is the size of a wolf, and it is some sort of gross abomination. Uh, it has pieces of all kinds of different creatures that have been sewn together, and it's in the front of it is, um, it's it's a mouth, but it's sideways, and in the back of it almost like armor or a, a hermit crab it is wearing a giant um it, it's um like the beak of a kraken mm. and it is time to fight and you hear boss fight oh is this the boss mm. <coughs> mm. okay i'll play goblin attack because that sounds fun all right, and just like that, Thordak, you are up. Thordak grips the rapiers, and you watch as they both <laughs> ignite in fire. And Ooh. he just says, <laughs> let's get some. And I'm going to make a reckless attack uh, against this creature, which gives me advantage. So I get my sneak attack. Okay. Um, don't have bless yet. 18. Okay, so you run over to hit this thing, and as you do, your swords just ping off of the shell and it's back. Okay. Uh, second attack. Critical. Critical. Oh, I like it. All right, so um this is gonna take a bit um i'm gonna change the music while you're doing math <clears throat> this is not fun uh so total damage wise um oof. uh so 48 damage up front Jeez. plus um i roll an extra damage die um, because I criticaled um, which is a seven so seven damage okay 
Um, now I roll my Divine Fury, um, which I believe is also doubled because of the critical. So that's 22. 22 to hit? No, tw uh, I've already hit. Damage. So okay. yeah, 22, so 22 damage. damage. Okay. Um, and then my gloves ignited my weapons. And so that is also fire damage on this one. And that would be doubled as well. So I rolled a six, so 12 fire damage. So you just did like 90 points of damage. Yeah. Right, cool. <laughs> Awesome. So, um, and now I'm going to make uh, my bonus. Oh, no, bonus action. I raged. Never mind. Okay. So. <laughs> I just uh, jump forward. Running, <laughs> yeah, you come running forward. And as the first blow glances off of its, its uh, shell, uh, your rage intensifies. And you start stabbing the shit out of this monster. Uh, pieces of, of random body parts flying everywhere. And uh, you stab the shit out of this guy uh it is now well can you do anything else nope i uh I, I raged i attacked twice okay it's crack's turn all right motherfucker so crack takes out a protractor and a ruler and starts <laughs> doing some angle work um and he puts himself right here and he okay. uses compulsion as a spell <laughs> i haven't seen that one yet have you guys <laughs> <laughs> all right um uh, i use compulsion uh and i turn it into a bonus action because of my thing that uses a resource um make a wisdom save throw for this guy okay i will do that but first uh you go to cast that and dispel magic floods out of this creature so is it more than level three? Yes. Okay. So I, okay. So I need to roll DC ten plus the spell's level, so fourteen. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see. This die's been doing good for me. Um, you said wisdom, right? Yep. Although, although for that, it would be the creatures whatever for dispel magic. It would yeah, be it the is. creature's spell casting. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, so whatever it uses for its casting thing. Yeah, it's charisma. Uh, it is an 18. An 18? An 18. This thing well, is not a very charismatic looking <laughs> mini. Fuck you, buddy. No, it is. Uh, it is. Oh, yeah. okay. So do I. Do. Okay, so... And you lose your spell? Yes. But do I, like... Notice anything about the Dispel Magic field? Where it is, or... It's coming out of him. I mean, it, it is this creature that just did that. Okay. Um, then I'm gonna back up. Uh, to... I don't know. Here. Okay. Uh, and use... Uh, Toll the Dead. Boo. Uh, DC 20 wisdom saving throw, please. DC 20 wisdom saving throw is a 22. Okay. Um, then I'm going to move. <laughs> uh, so I moved here, here. All right. Uh, I'm going to move here, and that's my turn. Okay, uh, this thing... <laughs> you just ran forward, ran back, and then ran forward right to where you started, and you're listen, like... Listen, 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 listen. <laughs> so, this thing... Uh, it is... That looks like 20 feet, right? It doesn't hit him. Uh, you see this just viscous fluid shoot out of its face and i am going to need um uh, 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 sorry i'm uh, i'm gonna need dexterity saving throws so this stuff shoots out into its face and when it does it lands in the middle of the room and just explodes outward i into... do still have bless going on yep 
Oh, I didn't roll bless on my first attack. Uh, so whoops, fifteen. <laughs> no, uh, sorry, seventeen to save for me. Okay. Um, do I see this happening? Like, is is it where I watch it happening? Oh yeah, it comes right out of his face. All right. So then I roll advantage on my deck save. Twenty one. Okay, so 20, 21 is going to take half um, half damage. So hold on one second. This is a lot of d6. Um, holy shit, it's a lot of d6. So what monster is this? Well, it's gonna be it's gonna be fun to learn after we fucking kill it and use its yeah. shell as a fucking toilet. <laughs> Eat its brain like poodoo. <laughs> Fucking monkey. That's all your creature is, Justin, a monkey. <laughs> <laughs> Justin doesn't have <laughs> 6 Justin, what are you doing? He just rolled like 12d6 <laughs> or... <laughs> Fucking 20d6. What Jesus. the fuck? It was. It was 20d6. It's 63 points of damage. And so, so that's, that's full full damage is 63 points of damage. What was the DC? Okay. It was 18. Okay, so we saved. Or at least I saved. No, I didn't. What, um, was, what, what, what was it? Sorry, Justin. 63. All right. So 32. Oh. 32 is what I would take. Um, yep. What what kind of damage is it? So uh, half of it. It was, um, it was, uh, it was 63, sorry, 32. Was, yeah, but 63, but it was, I'm sorry. I'm, it was, um, 37 was fire damage. And then, um, what's that? It's 26, uh, is, uh, necrotic, right? I did that math, right? Cause that's what the numbers, it was 37 was fire. Okay. So I'm actually resistant to fire. Okay. Uh, 36, uh, was the necrotic. It was, huh. it was 30, 37, and then 26, if I did the math correctly. 26 was necrotic? Yep. All right, so the 26 is, uh, <clears throat> uh, 13, and then the 37 was the fire? Yep. And that's 18 and a half, so 19, uh, plus the, what was the other one, 12? Or 13. Huh? Was it 13? Thir 13. I'm so confused what the fuck's happening right All now. All right. So, so I ended up taking 32 points of damage. Okay. Sure. Um, I took full. Okay. All right. So it does that. And then it is going to make one attack at Thordak. And sorry, this is a big long sheet. Uh, hang on. So I, I did a reckless. Um, you have advantage against me. Okay. So I'm going to roll two dice here. Uh, that is a 28 to hit. Miss. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. You might. All right. So <laughs> it is 13 points of damage. So that's going to be, uh, what, six points of damage. Because uh, it is slashing damage, uh, so it's got in, a, in the front, it's got a like a, a like a claw uh, that's sharp, and, yep. but it's not like pinchy. It's he slashes across at you, and uh, that is now the end of that. And now it is your turn again, Thordak. All right, um, he's gonna go reckless again, so that way he can try okay. and get sneak attack. Um, so 26 26 uh let's see here yep that hits it worries me that you had to look if a 26 yeah i was gonna say you he has to look for that shit. he has some abilities that might help some at some point you know, shield bullshit um all right so 24 points of straight up damage okay um Plus eight of Define Fury. Okay. Plus five fire. Okay. All right. Anything else? That was first attack. 
<laughs> okay. Um, 27 to hit. 27 does hit. Yep. Uh, that is... Oh, shit. That's not the damage. That's what you just hit. Uh, nine, 19 points of damage. All right. Uh, six, th uh, 13 was piercing. Six was cold, if that matters. Okay. Um, and then he's going to make his uh, offhand attack. Okie dokie. And that is... 19 19 so uh you you just go reckless and just start stabbing into this creature uh and the first two go in but the last one with your offhand it glances off the shell on its back um just missing okay that is all he had okay uh <clears throat> crack it's your turn all right um, can I do a really quick check? Maybe I don't need to, to see if this guy is undead. Is this undead? It looks undead. Okay. Give me a check. Give me, uh, I guess, uh, either a nature check or an arcana check. Doesn't matter. Just blow your cleric, whatever, divine fury and <laughs> blast it. Uh, a, a one. <laughs> You got a one? You have no fucking idea. You've never okay. seen this. It looks it looks like a mixture of technology and uh, and and magic. Thordak standing in front of you, just going, "What the fuck is this?" Just stabbing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, okay. Can I ask you to describe the stuff that's coming out of it from where Thordak has stabbed it? Blood, lots of it. <laughs> So yeah, that, no, that's a really good, a really good thing. Um, as you're starting to see this thing get, as uh, the the flesh is starting to be flayed off of it, um, you're seeing little bits of glowing, um, uh, almost like a light, like okay. like firefly that's... fluid. Um, uh, think of it like um like a neon sign. Okay. Um, weird. Uh, so I am going to go ahead. I have no idea what the fuck this creature I, is. You've described the sheet of this creature as large, so I'm assuming this is the boss. I am going to cast Holy Aura as my eighth level spell. Okay. Uh, so Crack reaches into his his satchel and pulls out kind of like this this glass cylinder that has this globule of blood just floating in the center of it. Okay. Um, and he holds it in his hands and it like, it starts to glow intensely. And this large, uh, I might have to move before this, so I apologize. Um, okay. Yes, I probably will. I'm, I'm okay. going to move 10 feet. Whatever, over. you're good. Uh, and the a, a sweeping aura of holy energy comes out. So creatures of your choice, obviously myself and my friend, um, shine a dim light of five foot radius and have advantage on all saving throws okay. and other creatures have disadvantage on attack rolls against them until the spell ends Ooh. in addition when a fiend or undead hits an affected creature with a melee attack the aura flashes a brilliant light the attacker must succeed on a constitution saving throw or be blinded until the spell ends so that's why i need to know if it's undead or not I, I, we can we can find out when it attacks one of us but that okay. is so. um i am going to move wherever I need to to make sure that By or Byron uh, Thordak can uh, get a sneak attack and that'll okay. be right. I say at this point in time uh, Byron's like 18 years old doesn't know how to cast it he's like oh my god um so this Let's creature see. this creature uh, it rears back on its hind legs and just smashes down onto the ground and you just hear you just feel this ripple of energy shoot out excuse me into a um, <coughs> uh, into like a th it's a 30 foot burst that comes out knocking things onto the floor I need the two of you to give me constitution saving throws and I believe you said you have um, advantage advantage on that hey what the hell did heroes feast give us 
Uh, oh yeah, that's a good question. So it gives you, so that number I rolled, so uh, I rolled a 20 for that save. Uh, the number I rolled, so 13, you add that to your max HP and you would you would also heal that much. So your your HP increases by that much until the end. So oh. 13 and then frightened, but that hasn't happened yet. So I can heal you. It's not, it's better than temp HP because I can heal you back up to that amount. Okay. Just Eventually. curious. Uh, still trying to add. So I rolled a twenty for that save. Okay. Uh, What'd oh. you get there? Yeah, sorry, I didn't roll mine. Constitution. Um, it's an advantage. Yeah. Oh, plus I have plus ten. Twenty six. Okay, so you both pass, uh, but you're still gonna take some damage. Uh, sorry, my spell went away. All right, so you take uh, uh, 16 points of thunder damage, which you have. And Is that it? No. 20 points of necrotic damage. Um, and you take half of that also. So that's that 18 points of damage total. Uh, and you feel the floor moving beneath you as this creature um, tries to knock you down. Um, but then, just like that, he's gone. He's gone? Like, he, he blinked or he burrowed? He blinked. He blinked out of existence, and he he's behind you now. Oh, okay. Hey, I'm sorry. He didn't just go away forever. He just, he was there in front of you and now he's gone. Okay. Um, can I turn around and look for him? Yep. Yeah, you would know that he's back there. You hear him hit the ground behind you. Hmm. Cool. Um, I will run. Um, perfect. I have 40 feet of movement, so my guy okay. just runs right at him and just jumps and recklessly stabs into him again. <laughs> nice. Okay. Give me some give me some attacks here. What you got? Uh 33? Yes, that hits. Okay. Uh Are you saying that's how much damage it was? No, that was my attack. Okay. Um no more blessed, by the Tw way. 25. Um, okay. okay, so 29 to attack. Um, so, yeah, 25 plus uh, 8 Divine Fury. And 4 Fire from my gauntlets. So tell me how you kill it. <laughs> okay so third act just jumps off the ledge and he's like you know, we're not getting away that easy and just <laughs> runs and just jumps and kind of does that like you know anime where like he's like arced backwards and just like pierces the uh the rapier uh i'm gonna use the the trident <laughs> that i okay. broke off and just stabs it and pierces it down to the ground and as it kind of like is leaking its antifreeze fluid all over the ground he goes well that was disappointing i really expected something like i don't know he just kind of pokes it with his rapier <laughs> <laughs> um as you do it it just falls apart um and you can see on the inside of it all of these um, crystals that um, are powering it. So I, I wouldn't have classified this as undead because it's it, it's more machine than it is undead. So these things that are inside of it are powering what's what's going on here. So is it like a Modron? Um, give me give me a uh, a. Give me a history check. You can both give me a history check. Oh, all right. Plus zero. Ten. <laughs> Six. Hell, high five. <laughs> <laughs> well, you, it makes sense. You guys you guys are mostly from break. Uh, so you're not sure. You haven't seen this technology. We're the front line. Before. We're not exactly the brain of the operation. Yeah. yeah. We are the scalpel. <laughs> 
Um, uh, cool. So, uh, he'll just kind of look around and be like, all right, you know, uh, high five, we did it. Is this what uh, killed Byron? I'm really confused. No, Byron's still alive. It's all Bryce right. that's dead. Oh, right. Although Byron kind of sounds like a little bitch, huh? Uh, anyway, Problem about these look? kids, man. I don't know. How do you how do you look? Are you looking all right? Yeah, I'm my guy's golden. Oh yeah? Yeah, he's uh, uh on a on a scale of one to twenty, he would be a fourteen. <laughs> wow. Well, great job. So is there more behind us, like down that path or Nope, you uh, have killed all the monsters. As you're going through everything, uh, you do actually find, because uh, I'm not going to make you roll for it, you find a hidden compartment, and in there is a orb of resurrection and 15,000 gold pieces. Holy shit. Welcome to One Shots. Uh, I think I saw some dead bodies over in a different cove. Do, uh, do we know what this orb is? There's a There's a tag on it that says orb of resurrection on it he just kind of looks he goes can we use this on bryce do we yeah i guess i mean it'd be rude not to uh i just want to say i didn't do a single point of damage to the boss (laughs) (laughs) i also didn't do any healing (laughs) really (laughs) <laughs> that's awesome I my eighth level spell didn't fucking do anything either well your your friend did like 90 points of damage in one attack I don't think that was a crit either it's just fucking <laughs> Jesus Christ alright well yeah let's uh, resurrect Bryce should we trash this place or what yeah let's just pack all this shit up and take it back with us and Pack Maybe if we bring what? him, then what? What are we packing it up in? I assume we. I mean, we're. Do we have anything that we can like haul stuff off? Like my guy's not exactly a slouch. He can he can carry some stuff. Sure, you find um, you find some some sacks and bags and um, and then up uh near the uh near the the temple there it's not a cart but there's something that you could fashion as like a like a gurney that you could drag behind you to get a decent amount of stuff cool um listen i i like all that here's my suggestion we resurrect brass and make him do it <laughs> that's fine <laughs> okay that's almost fair. <laughs> Bring him back from fucking hell, which I'm sure he's at right now. Uh, he can carry some of this shit. Uh, are those are those bodies that I spotted in the left hand cave that we didn't explore? Is that uh, anybody <laughs> flavor bodies? Some... Oh, so it's not Bryce. Yeah, <laughs> it was Bryce and his brother. <laughs> Just blah. <laughs> was it? Blah. So did we find Bryce's body? He was back in town. He was. Yeah. We'll just go back and. I mean, I. Just, can we resurrect him? Like. I don't know. Can you? Why not? Mm-hmm. Yeah, we can. Yeah, with the resurrect spell. Yeah. Why not? Cool. It's yeah. The free resurrect spell. But, you guys well. go over there um, and you dig him up. Uh, that little old lady is walking around town dragging her sword. Uh, there's just like these lines in in the the street as she's been dragging the sword around the around the block. Um, but you go over and you dig him back up, and uh, who's casting the spell? Oh, crack! Like my guy, oh, uh... my guy can stick forks in the fucking ground around him, <laughs> tuning forks and shit. Like he doesn't Before know. Before I do it, <laughs> I use my spell. Uh, which is it? Commune. Uh, you contact your deity and ask up to three questions if it can be answered with a yes or a no. Okay. And I and it lasts for a minute. So depending on how long the answers are, well, I guess it doesn't matter. I ask, should we resurrect Bryce? <laughs> yes. Okay. <laughs> Did we get all the bad guys? No. 
Is Byron a little bitch? <laughs> yeah, and then the camera goes black. <laughs> no, yeah, it says it says no. Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> Helm, he doesn't even worship you. Okay. All right, we resurrect. <laughs> okay, so uh, you dig, you dig him back up. It is terrible. He's been dead for a while. He stinks. Uh, his like <laughs> eyes fallen out of his socket. Uh, but you hold up this orb and smash it in your hand. And as you do, you see the skin start to knit back together. His eyes suck back into his eye socket, and uh, his lungs start to inflate. And as he, as that happens, his eyes pop open. He goes. <gasps> And that's where we're going to end. Sweet. Okay. Byron's dad's back alive. He doesn't know it. <laughs> it's been a decade. He still doesn't we, know it. <laughs> we, we kill him shortly after this. Don't worry. <laughs> yeah. The, the, the camera cuts back. It's just you guys stabbing him again. And then the camera goes away. <laughs> it's not natural. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Awesome. Well, you guys did a good job. I hope you had fun. Thank you, all nine thousand of you that were uh, that joined tonight, uh, and in the future, if you're listening, we thank you for listening then too. Uh, we will be back again next week, but first, we need some inspiration given. All right, it's alligator. Alligator gets the inspiration. Awesome Good job, alligator. It, Good job, it was the holy armor, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was. And you were wearing chainmail, so it was right a little That's bit on true. the nose, but I liked it a lot. So uh, thanks, everybody, for joining in, and uh, we'll see you here next week. Bye, everybody. everybody have a good night. Love you guys. Thanks Bye for everybody. joining.